What is up, YouTube? Welcome to We Sibs West Coast East Coast Siblings. Today we have episode two of Snowpiercer. If you didn't catch the first episode, it aired on the Lotta Quinte Ledger with Zach from the basement with Zach. So we're breaking down episode two. We're gonna go through our three biggest takeaways as always, but first be sure to hit the subscribe button for both channels and hit click that bell so you don't miss a single episode. I am liking this show. Chris, I'm, are you liking this show? I, I'm real, I'm enjoying the show. I, I like the way that the story is going. I'm still not feeling the Andre character though. Something about him, he's not, not cool. I don't wanna say he's not cool, but he's not tough. Like I don't, yeah. I'm not like, okay, this dude is like the real deal, you know? Yeah, Andre's just not my favorite character. I'm actually rooting for Mr. and Mrs. Wilfred uh, <laughs> through, throughout this show because I like her. Takeaway number one, this episode came out swinging right after where we left off, uh, arresting uh, the three rioters and placing them in their little cubby holes. Then we found some missing limbs, thankfully, because... That was a question we had last uh, episode. Yeah, we didn't know where the limbs were. We knew that the torso was found uh, under the floor. And now we discovered that the missing body parts are actually in the freezer in the butcher's car, which means and confirms that there is cannibalism on this ship and not on the train and not just for the people in the tail. Everybody's eating people. The idea that they're feeding first class passengers though human parts that was something that was not even explored in the movie yeah you're right there is a massive avalanche on one of these mountains and yeah. let's face it the snow piercer gets wrecked big takeaway number two leaves the train getting hit and the cows actually dying so the cows were worth a lot more than meat they were using their methane they were using all different kinds of things that they could get from the cows and so now with this meat shortage it heightens the possibility that even the upper class people from takeaway uh, number one are going to be eating human meat. I didn't even think about that. If they were already cannibalizing and now they lost their supply and they're just going to be cannibalizing more. Oh, definitely. Uh, remember that show 100 where they're yeah. all up in space and they had to like suffocate a bunch of people just to keep the air yep, supply. Yep, keep the air yeah. supply. Yeah, they're in their final and seventh season now. Yeah, I can see something like that happening. Definitely. I really don't want to pick holes in this uh, show slash movie slash fandom because I really do love it. But why keep the tailies? Because I understand that they're a good workforce and that your paying customers don't want to work because they're all rich and, you know, they have no real... Yeah. They don't offer anything. They don't contribute anything. But at the same time, it's like, why keep them? Well, I think, number one, they need a slave force for jobs that nobody wants to die doing. Number yeah. two, they're using them for meat, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Number three, they're abusing them, you know, for various purposes that whatever they, they yeah. need at the time. You know, eventually they do need people. So even you saw at one point during the episode that they were taking some of these kids and educating them, um, bringing them up train and giving them a better life, but that was by lottery. So um, people are a resource, even though these are like, they're kept like cattle, just like any other cattle on the train. And it's funny that you said the lottery, because I think they kind of touched on it with the baby lottery, uh, in this episode. Yeah. Nothing here is chance. They can say it's chance. It's kind of like Hunger Games. It's just, everything is on purpose. Right. They pick the right people. It's kind of rigged. Uh, because it's balance. It's a very fragile, balanced ecosystem. Yep. I don't think it's, I don't think Mr. And Mrs. Wilfred is behind this because she's trying okay. to stop it, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out who would be behind these murders. I think it's far Every. too early to tell. In episode two, they've given us almost no real evidence mm -hmm. to how the murder is actually happening. The big takeaway number three, our final takeaway, which is Andre is now using bits of clothing to write down, just as he said, the 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 layout of the train including shifts and stuff and he's now trying to pass that on to passengers I, I didn't expect the plan to unfold this fast i mean i figured it would be kind of like you know a prison break sub story happening with these murders but i didn't expect him to you know try this fast this early and to get this yeah. far yeah well you know what their ultimate goal is to get to the front of the train so i'm not surprised he got the first hundred cars or so maybe 50 cars i forget you couldn't write that much on that strip of fabric yeah. But, you know, it shows that he's already putting this plan in motion. Allow me to tell you a little fan theory of my own. At least oh, yeah. a foreshadowing, I think, for this show. Uh, because we kind of talked earlier, uh, before filming, that this is not 
canon with the movie anymore. I think it's safe to say. This is kind of the Gotham of Snowpiercers. This is its own animal, its own entity, a new uh, just thing to look at all on its own. And I, I think that there may be a peaceful way to take over the train. Keep taking tailies and putting them in essential jobs throughout the entire train. Meanwhile, you got Andre leaving notes to the tailies, getting them ready uh, for the inevitable revolution. And it can probably run a whole lot smoother than we think. Possibly, but you notice that the richer people, the, up, the upper train people, are never going back to the tail. So eventually it's gonna fill up you know, and there's going to have to be a, a thinning of the herd again. I hope that this is still canon. Um, I know that there's we're losing hope for that by the episode, but I do want to see them connected. Again, like we talked about last week, I'd love to see that Chris Evans series finale cameo where we kind of get to see it come full circle to the beginning of the Snowpiercer movie because this is a prequel. I don't know how peaceful a transition could be. I think it's very easy to forget how massive this train is because we never see the full picture of it. We only see maybe 50 cars at once, yeah. which it's so much bigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thousand and one. It's so much bigger. And I believe Mallory said at one point that there's 3,000 people on the train. Yeah, at least. Yeah. So episode two of Snowpiercer leaves us uh, with a beaten and bloodied Andre, a random tailie who did not get the blueprints of the map, uh, and well, just more of a murder to solve. They, yeah. It's still not solved. They're kind of dragging it out, which I'm okay with. Yeah, you can tell they're using the murder as just a vehicle for him passing information to the tail. If the plot gets bland, you got this murder to solve. Yeah, it's definitely not an Agatha Christie novel. For everything that happened in this episode, I do feel like it's a filler, though, and that kind of makes me a little mad. But at the same time, that just builds up anticipation for next week, and... That's going to be a big episode, I feel. Absolutely. So you definitely don't want to miss. Remember, the episodes will be airing one after another on La De Quente Ledger and We Civ. So we're trying this new collaboration. So again, make sure you see... don't miss a thing. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for our three biggest takeaways from episode two of Snowpiercer. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure to like the video. If you like the video, check out more of my friend Zach. From the basement with Zach down, and links to his show will be down in the description below. Come watch my face. You know, subscribe to the Larry Quente Ledger. Watch Chris's other shows. Uh, it's just, it's a blast. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.